The cable hanging under its own weight is called a catenary load, and we have to analyze them different than distributed loads because the shape they create when they deflect is more of a hyperbola rather than a parabola, which is the shape of a deflected distributed load. And if the deflection of the cable is relatively small of when it's just hanging under its own weight, when it's a catenary load, then you can uh, analyze it as a distributed load. But if the sag is significant, you have to analyze it um, with these equations. And so the reason why it, you have to analyze it differently is because at any given span along a distributed load, the weight pulling down is going to be the same. But with a catenary load, you have, might have one segment in the middle that um, is horizontal and at the end you might have something more like this. Well, their horizontal um, span is about the same, but there's more weight pulling down on this one than this one because this one is longer so it's gonna weigh more than this one. So the difference in weight pulling down like that creates that hyperbolic shape and so we have to analyze them catenary loads differently than distributed loads. And all of these equations come from all these diagrams we have here where we've got our axis set up so that our y-axis is going right through the point on the cable that is um, has a zero slope. And so the only tension in that part of the cable is the horizontal tension. And that's important um, to set it up so that these equations will work, as well as these ones. Um, then the x-axis is set a distance c away from um, the cable. And this c is just an arbitrary distance. We just use it to simplify all these equations. You'll notice that these equations don't have c in there. Um, then you have W0, which is the weight per unit length of the cable. Um, you have S, which is the distance along the cable. You might recognize the S variable from the arc length of a circle. Well, this isn't an arc length because it's not a circle, but um, it's the same kind of idea. This, um, These equations approximate with DS. They approximate them as being an arc length of a circle because of the uh, differential slice of arc length. Um, then you have your tension throughout the cable and your horizontal tension. Remember the horizontal tension throughout the cable is going to stay the same. Um, and then you have the angle at the support where the angle of deflection of the cable. And with all of that, you kind of create this diagram where you have your weight per unit length times by your length of the cable, and that will be the weight of the cable pulling down. Uh, and then you have your tension and your horizontal tension with the angle of theta between them, and that's how you get this equation. And then you have this little diagram where you have your supports at the same height, and this distance h is the sag of the cable. So. I'm going to use these equations more because they're a little bit simpler than, than these ones are. And they both work, but these ones are set up to give you the specific variables you want. So if you want an example problem going over um, all of this, you can click on this video link. And this is an example problem of a cable hanging between two supports like this and you try and solve for the sag in the cable. Or you can click on this video link and that will take you to a different one where it's kind of set up more like this, where the supports are at different heights. And with those two different scenarios, you have to analyze them different. So you get a little bit of different situations going on. So I hope you found this helpful. If you did, hit that like button. If you have any suggestions or questions, you can leave them down in the comments. Down in the description, I've got some links to Amazon and Teespring where you can buy some student engineering merch. And if you buy that, it helps me out a lot. So if you're new to this channel, my name is Preston Palmer with Student Engineering. 
And my goal is to help other engineering students like me better understand engineering. So if you found this helpful, hit that like button and please subscribe.